thanks for stopping by and watching Coffee with Pips. I do appreciate your support. Okay, so today I went to a really, really cool place. I'll tell you what, Scratch. Scratch, and they make their ice cream from scratch. This place is amazing. I got to go in back and watch them make caramel brownie. Now they do a brownie all by hand and they cut everything and oh my god it was just amazing. So then Justin at Scratch, he's one of the two brothers that run this place. It's just um, amazing. Took me around, uh, described some of the ice cream, some of the, well, vegan ice creams. They have a couple of uh, those flavors. They have different seasonal flavors. Right now they have pumpkin. Uh, that's great. I tried some of that as well. And I got to try the caramel brownie. It was just unbelievable. This stuff just, well, of course, it melts in your mouth, but this really melts in your mouth. You know what? I'm going to tell you more about it right now. The Coffee with Bips Show. Mm -hmm. The Coffee with Bips Show. Mm -hmm. The Coffee with Bips Show. America's favorite food in Naughty Dog. Welcome, welcome to the Coffee with Bips Show. back. Still have the spoon in my hand because I can't wait to dip into that sweet potato casserole. Oh my god. The ice cream I watched them make is already being packed in pints and it's going to be shipped out to the grocery stores. All the stores I carry scratch brand ice cream. This is amazing you guys. I'm going to try the sweet potato casserole now. Oh my God, this is great. This is unbelievable. This is my favorite place to go, and I wanted to share it with you. So I tell you, if you haven't been there yet, you're gonna wanna go. You're gonna wanna go and check out their ice creams, and I can guarantee you, you'll be back every single week, maybe every day. I go like every other day. I have visitors come over, and we have Scratch, and they're like, I gotta go to this place. This is phenomenal one of the brothers, the owners of this great ice cream place. Hey, Justin. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. good. So today, what are you making? Uh, we're making caramel brownie right now. Um, and actually, one of our employees is making uh, gingerbread cookie dough. Do you mind if I go in back and check out what you're doing? No, come on back. Okay, so Justin invited me in back where they make the ice cream. He's making caramel brownie. And, and Abra is making gingerbread. Wow, that, I, that's a flavor that I haven't seen here at all. Um, is that something that's just seasonal? Yes, it'll just be for around Christmas. Okay, so just around Christmas. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna scoot down by Justin and see what he's doing. So you make, the, you make this caramel yourself. Correct. So, well, I was gonna say, yeah, it does look caramely. <laughs> So you start with that. Yeah. Okay, so now you're putting it in. Yep, now we're pouring it into the machine. Yeah, this is a 12 quart batch freezer. We're gonna turn it to freeze and then it's gonna take about six to seven minutes to freeze. Really? So yeah, now we now we wait. Perfect. So do you um do any other flavors in one day, or do you do the production? Is it like uh, one or two per day, like you're doing now? Or yeah, on busy days we'll be making six, seven, eight different flavors. Um, okay. We usually typically make I would say between 200 and 250 pints a day. Wow, that's which, a lot of, of ice cream. Yeah, which are all hand packed. So the pints we sell to grocery stores, and then the three gallons we sell to our shops. So we have the, our Brookfield shop, and then we have our Crossroads Collective location, which is on the east side at the food hall. Right. And um, we also have our food truck, which is seasonal. But it's cold that food. looks really cool. So you can actually uh, cater. So if you're having a wedding or something, it would be really a lot of fun yeah. to have that truck out there. And it would yeah, be something. Do, 
We do a lot Different. of weddings. We do a lot of catering events. Um, we have our ice cream bike, or we have our food trailer, which is our. Food I trailer. saw that yeah. too, and actually, I'm going to show that yeah. on the screen right now. A lot of people love the homemade aspect, um, so we we do make our chocolate um, homemade, it's handmade. We do make our caramel by hand. Um, you know, we cut up our own cookie dough, we cut up our own brownies. We so make, everything from scratch, and that's yeah. why it's called scratch. Exactly, yeah. Are you making the caramel brownie now? You said that takes how long? About six to seven minutes, typically. And that's done then? Yeah, it'll be ready. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna transfer it into one of the three gallons here, and then from the three gallon, that's where we pint it by hand. So each three gallon gets about 20 pints. They have a fundraiser that they can set up for you, and you get 25% back, 25% back. I can't believe it. You just email Ryan at scratchicecream.com and just to set up a date. Now you can get that in my description as well. And so I know that um, I'm going to walk out and take a look. I know you have a couple of vegan ice creams and you switch off on those. Um, so you get like two or three I see each time. So there's a vegan option. And I have to tell you, I did have, um, was it dirt pie? Dirt cake. Dirt cake. Yeah, dirt cake. And I mean, it was excellent. It was mm -hmm. excellent. It was like eating uh, regular ice cream. Yeah. So you can't tell that there were, there's no dairy in uh, the ice cream at all. We got a couple different vegan options out there right now. Um, two of the flavors by the scoop, vegan vanilla and vegan gingerbread. Um, also, even at uh, gingerbread and vegan, yeah, that's vegan cool. Yeah, vegan gingerbread is one of the flavors we have right now. And then by the pints, we have a couple of different vegan options as well. Oh, that's awesome. She is ready to go. Okay, so now you're pouring that. Wow, look at that. Just just keeps just coming right out of there. Yep. So what are you doing now? You're, what are you putting brownies These are our, our handmade um, brownie chunks that we, that we put into here. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we, we add uh, all the inclusions ourselves. That's great. So you're getting enough brownie, you're layering it in between, yep. so, yep. and stirring it up, so there's definitely, it looks like a lot of brownie in there. Mm -hmm. So then you cut it off, so then that's where you would add more brownie bits, right? Correct. And yep. they're homemade brownies. Yep. That is really cool. Okay, so being an owner, being in this business, do you like eat a lot of ice cream? Do you ever get sick of it? Well, I, I have to, it's quality control. <laughs> See, of course, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll never get sick of it because I've had so many different flavors here and um, the quality is awesome. And I don't know if I ever told you that, but it is. And I hear um, from so many friends that have been here, because it's right here in Brookfield, Wisconsin, that they they love it. They're loyal and they just love it. Yeah, we get a lot of people that either know this location just from its previous. Um, right, because it was a yogurt. It used to be a yogurt shop, yeah. So you got people that used to know the yogurt and now they're fans of the just, ice cream or just newcomers that just find us. Wow, that looks delicious. That just looks unbelievable how you can have all that ice cream just that fast. Yep. But a lot of the work goes on the back end with making the brownies sure. and things to go in it. So, and hand, be hand cutting the brownies and yep. all that. So you, what are your other locations? I know you have one in Wauwatosa, right? Uh, well, we do have a scoop shop. So that's where our first scoop shop was. Technically, it's actually still in the Yo Mom frozen yogurt. Oh, okay. Um, so it's shop. right inside that yeah, shop. Yeah, we have a small dipping cabinet there. Um, and our other shop is in the food hall called Crossroads Collective on the east side. Okay. Um, that's on North and Farwell. North and, and then, Farwell. Uh, we have a food truck, which is seasonal, but that's at Zocalo Food Park. See, okay, so that's, this is a question. If somebody's having a wedding in winter, could you set up the bike inside? Yeah, as long as the venue allows it, we can set up our bike inside, yeah. That is so cool because you have it right there. And I think that really would yeah. add a lot. And that's something that 
uh, people would remember like, hey, this was a, such a cool wedding. Right. Scratch was there with their ice cream mm -hmm. and, you know, and they're serving it right from their bike. Right. That bike is so cool. Oh, do you mind if I try this? Sure. I mean, this is awesome. Oh my God, this is great. So you're going to want to come to Scratch. This is a place to be and they have other locations. We're going to go up front in a couple seconds. And I mean, I'm just amazed, like I said, because you know, I come here and then come here and actually see you making it. That's just so cool. Okay, so now I'm in front with um, Justin and he's going to just tell us what types of ice cream. I was looking at the vegan. Yep, right now we got our vegan gingerbread and our vegan vanilla. Um, our vegan gingerbread is seasonal along with our sweet potato casserole. Uh, and then we have our cookie medley here as well. Okay, so that's vegan as well? No, or no, just the vegan gingerbread and vegan vanilla. Okay, so Noah's already pinting up the caramel brownie. That's just just that fast. I, we just saw it be made, and he's already putting it in pints. And this is being shipped out to stores, so talk about fresh. You can't get any fresher than this. Okay, Justin, so when did you start and your business? And you have a brother that's involved, so it's the two of you. Yeah, my brother founded the company back in 2015. Um, we got our, our first grocery store account in 2016, which is Metcalf's in Wauwatosa. And then I joined with him in 2018, so I was a little bit later. Right. I've been here for four years now. That's great. You know, it's, I think that really adds to it too, because you have two brothers and you have your uh, fingers on the pulse of the operation and the quality control, and that really speaks volumes. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to coming back. Uh, you'll probably see me first when I come back and buy some more ice cream. But I definitely appreciate the invitation back. Yeah, anytime. Thank you. There's so many unique flavors, I'm telling you, and then the regular um, standard flavors. However, this is really, truly the best. I just can't say it enough. And if you want to do a fundraiser, they have a fundraiser that they can set up for you and you get 25% back. Email ryan at scratchicecream.com and just to set up a date. Now you can get that in my description as well. I was real excited when Justin said I could come in. They are the nicest people. Support your local business. I've seen some customers walk out with pints like this and they were they sat down and had some ice cream on top of it. Why didn't I ever think of that? I always just get the pints and I bring them home and then everybody gobbles them down and then I have to go back for some more. My freezer's just not that big. Or I would have more. So the name fits perfectly. Scratch, made from scratch. Check it out. Check out all the locations in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll keep you posted with new videos that come up each and every week. I can guarantee you I'll be back and I'll be doing some more at Scratch. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great week.